This is a public service announcement. Do not put Windows on your OLED Steam Deck. It will not work. At least not yet. That's right, as if you needed one more reason to stick with SteamOS on your deck, the new hardware of the OLED model does not have Windows support right now. This is the age-old case of new hardware support lagging behind on alternative operating systems. And yes, in this case, Windows is the alternative. Here's the thing though, this has been the case with Linux operating systems for years. Linux on a brand new PC, on a new CPU architecture or socket type or with a new motherboard chipset, or perhaps with a new GPU architecture. Yeah, as a Linux user, it's a good idea to wait six to 12 months before you hop on the new hardware train. At that point, the community will have, in, at least in all likelihood, developed support for the hardware that's at least on par with, in, in some cases, usually better support than you, what you get on Windows. And it really shouldn't come as any surprise that Windows, literally the buggiest and worst consumer operating system on the face of the planet, has no chance of just working if the hardware vendor hasn't put in significant work to triage their drivers into a stable state. Oh, come on, Gardner, just because you hate Windows, that doesn't mean it's the worst operating system. Guys, I'm not kidding. I built this PC just last year. It's got a Ryzen 9 5900X, it has 128 gigs of RAM, and it has an RTX 3080. It's a beast. It's overkill for gaming by an order of magnitude. I don't even use it for gaming. <laughs> the, the thing is, it's so insanely powerful that it's got headroom when it's editing 4K video. It is perfectly stable. I've never encountered a single issue with this hardware running Linux software. But Windows? It doesn't matter what hardware I'm running it on. Windows is a completely unusable mess. I'm not kidding when I say that on this PC, I get a blue screen of death at least once a month. The PC will shut itself off. Often it's more like once a week that I get it too, and I'm not even on Windows that much. I only use Windows for video editing because DaVinci on Linux doesn't support common video codecs for some reason. That's not all, right? When I boot into Windows after having been on Linux, guess what Windows doesn't like? audio, it just refuses to output audio at all from any sound card until I reboot my machine. It's ridiculous. And both of these are not just because of this hardware. I've had the same exact issues on the PC that I built several years ago, back in 2019. Almost the exact same issues on Windows 10 and Windows 11 on this machine and the one that's out there on the other workstation. So I can't say that I'm surprised at all that Windows 11 on the Steam Deck OLED doesn't work. It's bespoke hardware, and until Valve releases updated drivers for the Steam Deck OLED, you're simply not going to be able to use audio, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi on the OLED. But even after that point, SteamOS will still provide a much better experience on the Steam Deck. Now, I would like to know what you think about any of this. Leave me a comment and let me know. Do you have a reason why you want to dual boot or even just replace SteamOS with Windows? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear those uh, opinions specifically. Now, I wanna thank everyone who supports this show, my patrons and my YouTube members. It's because of you guys that I'm able to do this, so thank you. That's gonna do it for now, though. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like that smash button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.